Take a listen to part of that 911 call from May's husband. Court records say during this call, May was trying to cover her husband's mouth. The husband then says May ran out of the house, got into his gray Jeep, and drove off. That call was made at 3.03 a.m., and police showed us dash cam video captured of officers on their way to the scene at 3.07. You can see headlights and a gray car in the video, and police believe that is May's Jeep driving in the opposite direction. We know that car was found outside of Cleveland hours later, but Darnell and May were nowhere to be found. Today, Columbus Police Chief Elaine Bryant made a plea to Pammy May. Pammy, if you're watching this, could you please reach out and contact us? We need to know that Darnell is safe. We are asking you, Pammy, and we're, we, we need to know if you're safe. Reach out, contact us, let us know that you're okay. I spoke to a neighbor of Mays. He says he was shocked to hear about this. Very big surprise to me because she's very friendly over there. You know, she always holler, hey, my neighbor, you know. So it's crazy. It's the first. You, you see it on TV and you hear about other people, but not in your own neighborhood. It's been more than 36 hours since police first learned about Darnell's disappearance, and they continue to plead for the public's help, saying they believe the boy is in grave danger. We, we are looking for a timeline. If you've, if you've seen uh, Darnell, if you've seen Pammy May for the past week, we are asking again for the public's assistance to reach out and give us that information. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.